A veteran journalist who was investigating possible sex crimes from former President Bill Clinton is said to have been found dead in Washington. Prince George's County Police Department released a statement to One American News regarding Jenny Moore's death investigation, saying officers found a woman unresponsive at a Washington, D.C. hotel after a welfare check. The department claims the woman was pronounced dead at the scene. One America's Neil W. McCabe breaks down the case. FBI whistleblower Robin Gritz told One American News her friend Jen Moore told her that if the wrong people found out about the documents she had just obtained, they would kill her. Gritz did not know what those documents were, but she does know that the FBI called her August 13th to tell her that her friend was dead. This is the Capitol Heights, Maryland Hotel, where Moore was found unresponsive by housekeeping. Gritz said that she never knew Moore's last name, but that the police called her because she had listed the veteran FBI agent as the next of kin. On Monday, I was sitting, uh, it was towards the end of the day, and I was sitting at my desk at work, and I looked down, and a lot of messages were coming in on my cell phone. And so I looked at, um, on Twitter, someone had messaged me, do you, do you know task force is dead? Task Force was the nickname for Moore, and Gritz said that she used it instead of her name to protect her. Gritz said that she thought it was all a sick joke, but after calling around, she confirmed that Task Force had passed, and then the phone rang. It was a detective from Prince George's County Police Department, a really, really nice guy, and he said, I got your name and number to get her next of kin, and he, uh, he just said, you know, this, this poor woman, um, he goes, suicide is... is pretty much ruled out. Nothing to indicate suicide. Um, nothing to indicate a forced entry, nothing to indicate um, any kind of um, physical um, confrontation. The initial call was that Moore had suffered a seizure, she said. Robin Gretz was not just any FBI veteran. For 16 years, she was a top agent assigned to high-profile cases such as the Boston Marathon bombing and posted as the FBI's liaison officer to the Defense Intelligence Agency. Six years ago, she filed a gender discrimination complaint, but instead of addressing her concerns, the FBI put her on unpaid leave and has slow-walked her case. Using her skills, she used Moore's phone number to find three of the reporter's relatives and passed on their details to the detective. It was this personal history that formed the bond between the two women, as Moore herself was a former California police officer who was targeted by her leadership. TruePundit.com reported that Moore had come to them about the child molestation ring she was investigating with the help of a 26-year-old who said he was passed around the ring in the 1990s. I said, you know, you need to kind of focus on what you have here that is the most needed and, and I'll put you in touch with someone. Gritz said she never knew what Moore was working on, but she did know it was getting serious. In the middle of doing all this research, she realized she was possibly getting into some pretty dark places. So she, and she had documentation for everything. So she texted me and said, uh, I got to find out who I can give this paperwork to. Um, and if it gets into the wrong hands, someone will kill me. And that was just, I can say that was only about two weeks before her, her death was when she said it just gets in the wrong hands. At one point, she offered to take in Moore at her place in the Midwest, but Moore never followed up on it, she said. Now she is mourning a friend and fellow traveler. I would describe, and I actually just picked it up, it got a little thing for her, um, kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. That's exactly how I would describe it. Jenny. Jen Moore was not just an investigative reporter. She was a former California police officer who Gritz said dedicated her life to exposing wrongdoing, including her very last investigation, which may have cost her her life. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Capitol Heights, Maryland. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.